Hi everyone! Today in this video I'm going to show you my new Corridinia shrimp tank. I made this tank with DIY breeding box at the top and it allows me to keep two species of shrimps together in one place without mixing them with each other. I'm going to quickly talk about how I've made this setup and give you some basic information on how to care of Neo Corridinia shrimp and how to breed them successfully. They're actually easy to take care of and quite easy to breed and I'm going to show you how to do it, so stay tuned. In the main tank at the bottom I have quite a large colony of Blue Dream Shrimp, which I have for about a year. I've started with 15 high-grade shrimp and now I have a few hundreds of them in the tank and I've sold lots of them out of this tank over the last 6 months or so. These guys are very awesome to watch and it's very peaceful and relaxing. The females are normally a little bit bigger than the males and they have slightly brighter coloration of the body and they have slightly curved belly. The males are smaller and have a thinner body and not as colorful as females. It's important to remove less colored shrimps out of the tanks from time to time to increase the quality of the shrimps. I wouldn't recommend keep your shrimp with any kind of fish because the fish can eat your baby shrimp and if you want to have great success with them, don't put fish in your tank. Now let's talk about water parameters. The ideal temperature for Neo Corridina is between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius and pH 7 and above. They prefer hard water with GH above 5 and KH above 3. I have many tanks with Corridina shrimp and this is the only tank with Neo Corridina. I don't bother to prepare specific water for Neo Corridina shrimp when I do water change and I use the same water for all my tanks with 0 kh. That's why I put coral sand and lots of coral in this tank. They help to increase pH and kh, making the water parameters ideal for Neo Corridina shrimp. In this tank I change 15% of water weekly. But sometimes if I lazy I do like 25 or 30 percent water change bi-weekly. It's always better to do small amounts of water change more often rather than large amounts less often. Okay, let's talk about filtration. I only have one sponge filter in this tank connected to power head. I always put a piece of sponge to cover outtake of the pump. It helps to reduce the flow and also creates very fine air bubbles. They provide your tank with plenty of oxygen. Okay, let's quickly talk about feeding. Because I have lots of shrimps, I feed them twice a day with small amount of food which they can eat within an hour. If you don't have many shrimps in your tank, you can only feed them small amount of food once a day. You need to remember that the main diet of the shrimp is biofilm and algae which should be plenty in well-established tank and the food you feed them is only supplementary like a snack. I only clean front glass of this tank and never clean sides and back glass. This algae on the glass is a good food for baby shrimps. It's also important to have some plants in your tank, especially mosses. The plants have a large surface area and they are a good place for biofilm to grow, providing your shrimp with food and hiding places. They also help to reduce nitrates in your tank. I also have some floating plants at the top and they are very good for removing nitrates. I have a lot of seed shrimps in the tank and look at this, they're having party in the corners now. Okay, now let's move to the breeding box above the tank. In this box I have a small colony of yellow shrimp. You know, my favorite Neocredina shrimp are blue dreams and yellow golden back. And I didn't want to make another tank and instead I decided to try and keep them inside the breeding box. I made this box out of acrylic glass and it works very simple. The pump pumps water to one end and it drains out into the tank at another end. I also place two sponges on either side and they work like a sponge filter creating extra filtration and providing the shrimps with extra biofilm. As you can see I also put some mosses and plants into this tank to keep the shrimps happy. 
Neocaridina shrimp are very easy to keep and they are okay to live in small spaces. The shrimp are doing great here, they are breeding a lot, they are very active and they look quite happy to be here. The only one issue I've noticed is the baby survival rate is not very high here. I think it's because uh, there is not much surface area in this box and not much biofilm for them to survive. And that's why when I see new babies I also feed them with some powder food. This breeding box is also great for cross breeding projects. You can put your best looking male with few females and release them back into the tank once they got buried. Another small thing you need to think about before you set up a new tank for Neocaridina shrimp is the color of your substrate. As you already noticed, I have dark substrate in the breeding box and white sand in the blue dream tank. It all depends on the color of the shrimps. So, for example, for yellow or white snowball shrimps, it's better to use dark substrate for better contrast. And dark shrimps like Blue Dream or Black Rose would look better on light substrate. So definitely think it ahead before setting up your new tank. Snails are great tank mates for your shrimps and can be very beneficial. They will eat any uneaten food if you accidentally overfeed your shrimp. And also their feces are a good place for microorganisms to grow and can be a good food source for your baby shrimp. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please click that thumb up button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Please leave me a comment down below or ask me a question. Thanks for watching and until next time.